growing anger this morning among the millions of people who rely on having an emergency EpiPen at all times to guard against potentially deadly allergic reactions. The company that makes that drug has hiked the price more than 400% over eight years, while during that same time period, its executive's compensation is up more than 600%. NBC's Tom Costello on the story from Washington this morning. Hey, Tom, good morning. Hi, Savannah. This is a medicine that many states require schools to stock in case a child suffers a potentially deadly allergic attack. But the company that makes the EpiPen has a near monopoly, and now members of Congress are calling on a federal investigation into price gouging. It's called anaphylactic shock, a fast, life-threatening allergic reaction. Millions of at-risk Americans and schools keep EpiPens close by in case of just such an emergency. Nine-year-old Joshua Fernandez is allergic to nuts. But over eight years, the price to pharmacies for an EpiPen two-pack has skyrocketed from $100 to $600. And the pens must be replaced yearly. Now, NBC News has found that over the same period, Mylon Pharmaceuticals raised executive pay and compensation by more than 600 percent. I'm struggling to just provide basic life-saving medicine for my child, and the money that I pay for this medication is going to somebody's paycheck or some crazy profit margin. In Congress, both Republicans and Democrats are alleging price gouging, calling for an investigation. Senator Amy Klobuchar's daughter, Abigail, has relied on an EpiPen since she was a child. How can you explain that this very same item made by an American company is hundreds of dollars cheaper in Canada? Myland Pharmaceuticals tells NBC News the price change better reflects important product features and the value the product provides. And it offers coupons to help customers with high insurance deductibles. But Mylan is not talking about CEO Heather Bresch's total compensation, going from $2.4 million to nearly $19 million over eight years. It's coming at a time when there's almost never been more scrutiny on the drug industry for its pricing practices. Yeah, a lot of scrutiny. There is another version on the market, but doctors are reluctant to prescribe it because so many people have now been trained to use the EpiPen, and they don't want people fumbling around to give somebody epinephrine during a real emergency. Savannah? And as you mentioned, schools being asked to stockpile it, so we're talking about taxpayer dollars, too. Tom, thank you very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.